the use of daylight to create sustainable buildings and a healthy indoor climate was on the lips of everyone when the 5th VLUX Daylight Symposium took place in May 2013, and with good reason. According to some of the world's leading experts in the field, daylight plays a vital role in creating healthy and sustainable buildings. Daylight is important because it affects uh, us emotionally, it's an, uh, it affects us in, in health terms, physically or physiologically, uh, and it contributes to potential energy efficiency of, of buildings. So admitting natural light into our buildings means we save a lot of energy to displace the need for electric lighting. Daylight is of course really a key component in sustainable building design. So the moment when you want to say, well, we want to have very low energy buildings, then daylighting just has to be a, a part of it. Otherwise, alternative would be building without windows and electric lighting on. That's not really an alternative. But even though the connection between daylight and sustainable buildings is evident, some of the experts at the symposium maintain that the use of daylight in our buildings is still insufficient in many ways. Daylight is an incredibly important but mostly missing component to much of what gets designed. Since 95% plus of the buildings that are put in place do not have any deliberate design work done on them by architects and people who are well versed in the field of daylight, environmental design, building envelope design and so on, we end up with uh, buildings that uh, fail on many, many stands. But thankfully, there are solutions to the problem of too little daylight in buildings, and they are to be found in the building industry and its regulations, as well as in ourselves. It's really important that this issue now is taken more seriously by politicians, by regulators and by building designers. It's really not been fully and adequately addressed. We have the ability with glass technology and our building sciences to bring daylight inside. And that's what we have to do. We have to learn how to live inside our built environment as if we were outside.